after the game, you heard Matt Weiner discuss just how odd it is to see a superstar player not go to the podium after a playoff game or a finals game. And LeBron in the locker room talking with reporters and um, obviously down two games to none, not very happy about the situation. And let's listen to some of his comments after this 19-point deficit. Um, we had a couple turnovers. Uh, we had a couple miscues defensively, and they, uh, they made us pay for it. Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I don't want to kind of get into the what we need to do better right now. It's, the game is too fresh, but so you know, we're gonna go home and uh, watch the film, see ways we can be better, uh, do things. I don't want to say differently because you worked so hard to to this point to get to this point, but you know, maybe make a couple changes to see if we can you know be a lot better defensively and offensively. Though for the most part, you know, with the game plan that we had, we tried to execute it as close as possible. We was much more physical physical today than we was uh, you know in game one. And we forced them to 20 turnovers, and, and they still, uh, you know, you know, uh, beat us pretty good. So, you know, we got to be much better too. Do you, um, is there anything that you saw out there tonight that, that makes you feel uh, good to the right word right now? That just makes you feel like you see a path. I always feel good. Why not? Nah, I'm not a I'm not a uh, pass guy too much. I'm more of a present guy, so you know we just got to figure out how we can be better in game three. Is it hard not to get demoralized though when you play so much better than you played in game one? Aside from the three point shooting, you played really well. No, we did, we did. Um, well, I mean, we got a little out of control towards the end, so you know um, we're not worried about that. But um, you know we made runs. Um, you know we cut it to four at one point, and then they went on a quick. I don't know, it was a 9 0 run or 12 0 run, what they do. That's what Golden State do. If you you know make a mistake, like I said, we had a turnover. It came from me, you know, and uh, you know, and then we had a miscue and you know the floods opened again. No, I just thought we was more physical at the point of attack. You know, uh, less much uh, not as much uh, freedom of movement at the point of attack. Uh, you know, so a lot of us get our hands. We was, we was more active too with our hands. You know, we didn't. We seemed to kind of pride ourselves on deflections, and we didn't do that in game one. I think we did a better job of that in game two. You obviously the Warriors. All right, that, that's LeBron James there, and, and I know this may sound like a bit of a tough sell from my standpoint here. Um, not asking anybody to feel bad for the media, but but there is a certain expectation and prestige, and it's a certain responsibility with coming to the podium after the game. Now, LeBron certainly doesn't have to do it and give him credit for speaking to the media, mm -hmm. making himself always available. But he also addressed there, right before we, we started rolling there, that, that LeBron said he's he's no longer going to the podium during the finals. And there's some reports out there that maybe uh, LeBron has had to wait too long to get to the podium in recent games that it's bothered him. Th does it concern you? Is it of, of any concern from a former player standpoint that, that he's not going? You know, I think you always should go to the, the podium. That's me personally. That's what I would do. But I think also, Jared, you make a good point. He didn't go to the podium. We've had guys go to the podium and just give you one word answers. Sure. Don't want that. At least he's in a locker room answering questions. But you know, I think he should go to the podium, in my opinion. And add to that, you, you're supposed to be available, all players after the game, to talk to all the media. But in LeBron's case, you're the king. You're the face of the NBA. You need to go to the podium for your fans, for your teammates, for all the people around the game to express what happened tonight. Right. You might not give us everything, but give us something and get ready for the next and, game. And listen, it, maybe it's different moving forward if everybody knows that's the situation, but there's hundreds of members of the media here who have responsibilities, a yes. job to do, yes. and they're set up in the the press conference room waiting and then to go into a small locker room to try and get the work that I know we see social media we go that video is available anywhere right. but that's not the way it works for a lot of media members they're here to do a job and some of them weren't able to get that on tape or video the way they wanted to well hopefully LeBron will learn from this situation and they can move on but at the end of the day when you're one of the faces like Kevin Durant and Steph Curry and all those guys when you play great yes you want to go to the podium and express yourself when things don't go well you have to have the same strength to do so all right but we're done crying for members of the media yes. we got a great yes. job